Hey guys, welcome to another video. How are you guys doing? If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, mwah, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, guys, so this is me proving to life that whatever the circumstances, we are going to succeed. This is the third time I'm filming this video. So many things have been happening, going on wrong, and I don't know. My memory card was working crazy. My camera was doing Bala Blue. My power bank was doing Bala Blue too. And also my voice. <laughs> guys, I've been sick for a while and I lost my voice. At least now you guys can even hear me. <clears throat> Before, I'd be like, hi, why, welcome. Nah, so I could not record. But here I am recording and I'm so happy. I'm grateful to God also. So, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the books I want to read in December. I'm sweating. Oh my god. Oh, there's it. The books I'm going to be reading in December and they are all here. Okay, so I'm going to bring them. As you guys already know, I will show you guys these books, but that does not mean I will read everything finish because sometimes I'll be a mood reader and what I didn't even tell you guys I'm going to read it and then I'll read it. So you have to forgive me and get used to it. Please, thank you. I love you. So for the non-fictions I want to read, uh, I have these two. I don't know which one I'm going to read out of them. I have The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari by Robin Sharma. And then I have this one, How to Live Your Best Life by Maria... Okay, so I cannot pronounce that last name, but this is so aesthetically pleasing. It looks so cute. 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 Yeah, so I, I don't know which one of them I'm going to be reading, but I know I'm going to be picking from them. So I'm giving myself options. Yeah, I have two to pick from. I am very, very certain I'm going to be reading this one, The Mechanics of Yanagua by Michael Afenfia. Yes. Oh my God, you guys, this particular book, eh, I already started it. Promise picked it for me. And she was like, oh, I should read it. Uh, the reviews she has seen. Funny thing is, she doesn't read African literature. I'm talking to you, Promise. You need to read African literature. They are good. Okay, so I was going to read it this November, but I was like, mm, I need to read up this first because this is an ARC that I need to submit before the end of this month and I'm still slow. So yeah, that's why I dropped it. But from the first few pages, I'm on page five and I'm already laughing. Like, it's very funny. So I love it. So I'm going to be reading that for sure. Then I'm going to be reading Yellow Face by RF Kuang. Okay. I don't know. This book came out this year and everybody has read it except me. And I can't wait to actually discover what's so good about the book. I had a lot and a lot about it. But yeah, you guys see, this is one of the books that is always at my, you know, yeah. Then I'm going to be reading Switched by Amanda Hawkins. I got this thrifted, so I don't really know anything about it. In fact, funny thing is, I've not heard anybody talk about this book at all. So yeah. I'm going to eat blind, but but when I bought it, I remember that I read the back and it says that she was switched at birth, then something. But here it says, what if your entire world was built on a lie? And it actually looks, uh, I don't know, looks spooky. So yeah. Oh my God, guys, I'm sweating. I need to do this every few seconds. Then I'm going to be reading Atlas by Elsa Silva um guys this was supposed to be read in november but i did not even get to it i didn't even pick it up from that tbr cut i did not pick it up i was like uh i will read it but i just kept on picking other books and this kindle is something else you guys this kindle is, is bewitched or something because i just be flipping through books in this Anyway, yeah. So I'm going to be reading this. This is the second book in the Chestnut Spring series. The first book, which was flawless. What was that? The first book, which was flawless, I really, really enjoyed so much. I was laughing. I was kicking and ha And also, there were so many funny parts where, like, there was also um, text messages. But this one does not have it, shall. Damn. But I don't know who Kate is. That's the funniest part. But I'm getting to it this month. Then I'm going to be reading Part of Your World by Harvey Jimenez. Oh my god, you guys. I've been looking for this book since forever. It's one of the new books I just recently got that I've not even showed you guys yet. These two. You're going to see it in my haul. 
when I filmed it all, because I'm still expecting some books, so I want to just add everything together and just, yeah, 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 you get the gist. So, everybody says this is a cozy romance book. I really, really want to get into it. I have almost all the books. I have Life So Short. I have the Happy Ever After playlist. I have Yours Truly. If I read this and I really, really like it, then definitely I'll be going into the other book. Like, I might go into it ASAP, if it is, you know... Yeah. In the Christmas spirit, I'm going to be reading Will You Still Love Me Tomorrow by Claudia Carroll. This is how it looks like. I don't know. I just get the vibes that it looks like Christmas kind of book, but I'm not sure. I'm not really, really sure, but it looks really, really cute. Maybe this is snow on the floor. I don't even know. And you guys know it does not even snow in Nigeria, so I don't know why I'm... Yeah. I'm going to be reading this one. The Van der Beekers of 141st Street. Like, seriously, the camera temperature is low already yeah i just realized that this is the first book in a nine book series and i'm like i hope it's not interconnected or something because i would want to read more you know if it's really really good so let's just hope and pray that i love it so much and then i'll have to now go on my kindle to get the rest but yeah this one specifically is for christmas because they said they are in need of a christmas miracle something 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 happened and yeah it looks beautiful beautiful total okay so we're back guys yeah praise god then the next one i would hopefully get into is this one cinderella is dead by kaylin bayron this is how it looks like i feel like it's giving when i look at it it's giving winter vibes so i want to get into it and also the fact that i really really want to know why cinderella is dead because it says it's 200 years since cinderella found her prince but the fairy tale is over so what's next do you get alone with you in the heater a love story by olivia blake honestly i have olivia blake's the atlas six and i also just got one for the enemy or something like that and i have not read this author i don't even know if i would like her or not or him her and i keep on buying her books so i need to know if i would like her before i just you know buy more of her hot books to get so that's why i want to start with our romance love story yeah the next book i would like to get into this one is very very certain it's certain that i am going to read this one lessons in chemistry by bonnie gamos honestly i have the most beautiful copy ever like under the dust jacket i have a periodic table a whole freaking periodic table and it's so cute so <coughs> jesus it talks about a lady in stem and promise has been telling me that it gives the same vibe as my roommate is a vampire and you guys i love that my roommate is a vampire with all my heart guys i love it love it so much i will never forget that book and i don't even have the physical copy so whenever the physical copy gets into nigeria i'm definitely hopping on it i'm definitely buying it because i want to read it again because that book is so good i read it on my kindle so she said this is giving the same vibes and also that there's a dog pov a dog's pov in this book so <laughs> she said i would really really love it and i want to actually yeah i want to read it so that is another one i'm excited i'm very very certain i'm going to read this one i'm 100 percent sure i'm going to read this one okay now let's go to the books i plan to read on my kindle well it's quite a lot because it's just easy for me to just pick up my kindle and be like okay i want to read this one i want to read this one i want to read this one now 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 and it's just one tap away i don't need to wait for them to deliver the book to my doorstep so well i plan to read all I wanted was sushi, but I got abducted by aliens instead by Petra Palerno. So, Bifa Limo, Karima, you guys know her. I talk about her a lot. Yes. Um, she is reading the third book, which just came out. And I was interested in the cover. The cover is really pretty. So, I decided to go and check it out on Kindle. And it's on Kindle Unlimited. So, I'm going to be reading that one. I'm also going to be reading the last book in the Maid series. That's The Darkest Temptation by Danielle Laurie. I read book one and book two. So, I want to get into book three. I hope this book three will be really, really good. Because I like book one. I didn't like the book two. The book one is The Sweetest Oblivion. The Maddest Obsession is the book two. And this is the book three. I want to actually get into it. You guys, I'm sweating again, yeah? Yeah. Then I would like to get into ooh, 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 Ali Hazelwood's Check and Mate. If the physical copy comes, I'm definitely buying it. So 
I don't know if I will read it on my Kindle or I'll just read the physical copy. It depends on when it lands in Nigeria. But this is one of the books I want to read in December. Hey God, look at me. <laughs> just Like Magic by Sarah Ogle. You know the funny thing is, you guys have been telling me to read um, this book. You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Ogle. And I have still not read it. But I'm sure I should love it because all of you saying I should read it. You love the same books I love. So I think maybe I'll read this then I'll read just like magic too because that just like magic is a christmas book then i plan to read window shopping by tessa bailey yeah talk santa to me yes i want to read that that one's sure because it's christmas you know christmas then i want to read the boyfriend candidate by uh i don't know what's uh, by winston i'm just going to put the picture so you guys can see love life farms i'm definitely reading love life farms that's one of the books i must read in december it's a must it's a must the christmas clash that's another christmas book i have here yeah i think those are majorly the books i want to read whatever other book i'll get into i'll just let you guys know because to be honest i just keep on giving myself all these books and i'm thinking that i am using both but in the book world because i can read fast i cannot read fast but those are the books i would love to read in december i hope you guys enjoyed this my camera is dying on me i'll see you guys in my next video oh juices don't die on me please what's what is wrong with you this, this camera i i won camera zero one day one oh, it already died wow if i don't film this today i don't know when i'm gonna film it so let us live with it well prop uh, promise and the second book the fourth mm. okay so we're back um yeah i had to cool down oh my god this is not going to embarrass me this is the hardest video i've ever recorded